Hey everybody, Fancy Sloth Nick here, and this is Fallout 4 part, I assume 20 at this point, I don't know, I don't pay attention that often. And this week's episode, I don't remember what I said we were going to do, but I'm thinking that maybe it's time we uh, started off on the main story again. Uh, we have these new sweet digs on top of some random skyscraper, because the captain gave us access to his uh, cabin. He also gave us a hat, if I remember correctly, which I could probably armor if I wanted to. Oh, that is fantastic though. It even matches color-wise with the Minuteman General outfit, unlike the Minuteman General's hat, which does not really fit color-wise. We might have to go around and change that up. But anyway, um, yeah, I think we're gonna actually continue on with the main quest. So, oh wait, we're gonna have to deal with the kidnapping because if we don't deal with the kidnapping, then that might be our supply line. And if our supply line is messed up, I have no idea where that's gonna be messing it up. All right, you tell me uh, about your stupid you problems. Yeah, 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 brother, whatever. Um, you're in luck. Uh, I'm like debating whether or not it's just worth it to pay the ransom. I do have a lot of money. Yeah, whatever. Hopefully they'll take the payoff. If they don't, whatever. I'll come here and kill you all. All right. So we have to find Virgil in the glowing sea. That, or you know what? No, let's let's uh, continue on with the Brotherhood. That might have been what I said we were gonna do. And even if it isn't, that's what we're gonna do now. But no, I said red rocket. Whatever. Fast travel's acting a little weird. That, or I'm just not paying that much attention. No, there we go. What I thought. Alright, so we have this set of flames power armor, and I'm thinking that we probably want to make it a little bit better. So, since we have armor of four, we can make Model F stuff now. So, we probably should, and I think we have enough. Mm, let's try the torso first, because if we could do the torso, we could do it all. Yeah, we should be fine. See, if I'm gonna meet the Brotherhood, I'm gonna meet them on equal terms. Oh, Codsburst has been loving it every time I've been modifying my armor. <laughs> okay, then. Um, yeah, Recon Sensors is probably a really good head thing. Oh, I'm gonna have to have, like, a million conversations with Codsworth. Uh, Codsworth after this, aren't I? Uh, let's just do the bright headlamp. Ooh, if we had four more nuclear material, we could do the jetpack. Until then, probably Teslas, because that's awesome. All right, arm slots are entirely worthless, apparently, because they're only for an unarmed or melee damage which we're not really doing. So that's disappointing. Wow, that is like totally not worth it. it. It's an increase of 14 or so. No, 11. 11. That's the health increase. Lead, on the other hand, is probably useful because that means less radiation. And that means after we bother with, um, after we deal with some Brotherhood stuff, we can go into the Glowing Sea, no problem. Because we'll have lead plate plating. Bleh, plating. Oh man, Codsworth probably loves the heck out of me right now. Oh, Strong is not gonna like this though. Oh, I've forgot to repair. Oh, right, but Strong is on um on the trade route, so he's not gonna be around here for me to have to deal with that. Repair, repair, repair. There we go. Now we have to remember to go out of power armor to have any conversations with people because our charisma is down to what it's supposed to be now. Codsworth, you love me now, so let's have some conversations with you before we continue on. Hey, oh, right, I forgot to tell him to come with me. That's fine. And now that he loves me, we should be able to force conversations with him. Um... Hey, turns out, um, Codsworth doesn't exactly feel like having a little conversation with me. That's fine, but I'm not gonna waste the time having him with me then. Um, and nobody else likes armor modification, so... When did I put Nick in power armor? I should probably put them all in power armor. Okay, well, this is, um, Nick, buddy. Okay, okay. Well, as long as you fix yourself, that's fine then. Oh, I'm still carrying around this thing. While it's really cool, I don't think I'm ever going to use the broadsider. <laughs> really cool, but entirely useless. All right, so let's return to the Cambridge Police Station and go ahead and agree to join the Brotherhood, because why not? They they have a giant airship. We might as well at least see what they're all about. Or really, I just want to go onto the airship. I'm, I'll be entirely on it. Oh, that's a Gatling laser. Okay. Hi. I can't talk while I'm on Do you not mind that I'm also in power armor? Or does that just like mean you automatically assume like, oh, another guy in power armor, properly brotherhood. Jeez, you guys do not care about wasting fusion cells or fusion cores though, if you're using Gatling lasers. Well, not that it matters. There's clearly people out there already. Also, why are you doing this now? Oh. Whoops, sorry. What were you saying, Dan? There's still a place you know what? I would be honored to join. I I was non-committal before because I wasn't in my nice suit of power armor and I wanted you to like me. I'd be honored to join. Then that settles it. Halen, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the Brotherhood. He shows a lot of promise. And with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. Ah, I won't let you Thanks. down. 
I promise not to let you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. I you like you, Halen. You're huh? easy to... I expected you to take your life and run. Okay, well, there's no reason to... No reason to be a jerk about it. Um... Are you upset that I'm staying? Maybe. Got enough trouble stomping muties and ferals. I don't need something else to worry about. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. Um, We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you right. intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Uh, I have a mil- I actually do have a military background. Don't worry. I've spent time in the military. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture. So I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order and you follow it. It's as simple as that. There's one last order of business I wanted to get out of the way. I'm going to recommend you to be awarded the rank of knight. Now, nothing's official until you speak to Elder Maxon, but I wanted you to be the first to know. I mean, already? That's, um... Thanks. Thank you. Thanks aren't necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. I did one Ad thing Victorian for you guys. Night. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad Victorium means to victory. Yeah, that's In our basic eyes, Latin. Defeat Come on is now. unacceptable. Because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Got it. Now, I've received orders that we're both to report to the Pridwin. However, if you want to run a few ops for Scribe Halen or Knight Reese first, they could certainly use your assistance. I'll leave the choice up to you. Let me know when you're ready to mount up. Uh, I mean, I'm ready to mount up now. Let's let's go. Paladin dance. Are you ready to head up to the ship? Why is the ship Why here, the actually? Send it here in the first place. I'm not sure, but I think it might have something to do with the data on the Commonwealth. My team got order. Right? Oh, okay. We call our ship Pridwin. Even though, she's loaded it, like, with clearly would sound so much cooler if you said Pridwin, but if she's whatever. Here, Elder Maxon's here. Oh, this this is another important bit. All right. Um. All right. Who's Elder Maxon? Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. Okay. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. Okay. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. Okay. Said, wow, you looked really about happy about that. Up close and personal. Uh, his face I is just so, so happy. To to oh, immediately. okay. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Th that, was, that was really quick. He was just all suddenly like, oh, by the way, we're both supposed to report there. You mean the guy who did one mission for you guys has to come along? Because that's that's a bit more trust than I'm okay with. Come on, come on. Um, I didn't want to go through this door anyway, really, when, you, when I thought about it. This door was stupid. See, the problem is I have to keep setting the audio down before a conversation and then set it back up for a conversation. <laughs> um, okay, where did dance go? Also, what's this thing? Also, what is literally all of the things? I wonder if you can open a vault with power armor on. Which, by the way, there was a reason I was asking. It's because this little thing here looked kind of like the vault opening bit the right there. Not really, like not in any way that anybody would confuse it for it, but it reminded me of the little thing you plug in to get into vaults, and I'm wondering if you can actually get in power armor. Like, maybe power armor has a thing. Ooh. Ooh. Loaded and ready to fire, you say? Right, a little more volume than that. Okay, with a little bit of volume peeking on the, uh... Yeah, properly identify targets. Got it, Dance. Yep, no mishaps. Don't accidentally fire on locals. Got it. Do 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 Okay, I don't know how much of that song I can be allowed to do before it gets gets me in trouble, but Oh, I killed something. Ah, oh, the thing is so big. Oh, apparently we're fighting the Institute, I think. I don't know, I did I again, I was not paying attention. I was busy firing this gun. I like how he told me to check my targets and I just haven't let go of the trigger. Uh, okay. Well, the Brotherhood seems a little zealous, but, uh, oh. And if anything, it seems like they kind of have the Commonwealth's best interest in mind a little bit. And if that's the case, how on earth can I suppose? Oh, hello. Hello. Airship. Hello, airship, my old friend. Our new friend, really. Not not old. Also, I'm I'm on a, a vertibird, not a bus. And I didn't just break up a wedding. But, yeah, I don't know where I was going with this. Now, now that I'm here, <laughs> I realized that there were some deficiencies 
deficiencies in my plan and that they were never really addressed. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, right. I should probably stop firing. I am ready. This is kind of cool. I mean, not not like it, it liter uh, literally. No, it, it's not nearly as cool as when the uh, the airship arrived in the Commonwealth, but it's kind of cool, I guess. Like, it just approached from a weird angle on top of not being that impressive. Also, is it just me or... Like, I'm I'm playing on Ultra, and this game just, just does not look very good to me. I don't, I don't know if it's... I don't know what it is. Uh, how do I... Oh, okay. Here we are. On the Pridwin which is the stupidest name for this thing. Call it the Pride Win, because it sounds cooler. Oh, all right. Allow me to be the first to congratulate our new group. Yeah, I feel promoted him to an infant. Yeah, Red, you'll be pleased to know. Whoops. I need a hotkey for altering the audio. And place the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pride Win and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Well, that was quick and easy. Oh, wait, I'm sure the captain has something to captain say to Kelsey. us, though. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. I was literally in the military. I, I was literally in the military. Which is why couldn't I say I was literally in the military? Every what? recruit who boards what? this vessel. <sighs> I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel... Was it to insult ex-military members from the United States mission, military? No because you've succeeded at that, prick. Understood? What were you saying, though? I was busy insulting you. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Nah, no questions, buddy. I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, initiate. Gee, thank. I knew already, but... Oh, wow, the command deck was right here. Of course, we're gonna have to listen to this. This is probably gonna be a very long bit of talking. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mission. Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth, a robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be gr granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their synths are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy, itself. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium. Well, Ad Victorium. they clearly believed all of that. Um, again, a little bit zealous, in my opinion. I'm not quite a fan of them. Excuse me, Elder Mac. I care about All right, and another conversation. Uh, you're preparing for war. I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war by starting one of our own. Um, <laughs> our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. What? I. Uh, what do you want? What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet, to start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, You've already begun. No, that all I did was help you retrieve a transmitter from one place. You couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, 
from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And I mean, thanks, the but title. We're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I literally am already wearing one, but okay. Um, I'm not going to be sarcastic to the leader of the Brotherhood. Something tells me in a military organization that's not a good idea. And obviously I'm not a paladin because I understand how basic military structure works. So I'll I guess I'll do my best. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Okay, then. Well, well, that's all I have to say, really. Um, oh, right. I have the wrong, I have the wrong quest elected. I'm supposed to be the Shadow of Steel. That's why everything was confusing to me. I was like, why is it sending me all the way around to do weird things? Nope, wrong, nope, wrong menu still. Why is it sending me around to do weird things if I, I just have to be on the ship right now? It's sending me around to do weird things because I have no idea what I'm doing. Ooh, you have a cool hat. If sneak attack criticals actually let me get away with killing people, I would kill you for your amazing welding math, but they don't, and I don't feel like killing everybody on here just to kill everybody on here. Alright, there's several people to talk to, but I have a personal container somewhere. I'm guessing like, I don't get my power armor because I already have power armor. Hey, this is mine. Okay. So apparently, uh, the Brotherhood regularly has initiate shoot knights just to test the armor. Or at least that's what I got out of that. Evil Nicholas's storage. Uh, uh, whoever had to print that on there? Poor, poor person. Ooh, what's this? Uh, oh, somebody jumped off of the flight deck with their power armor and then they got in trouble. Alright, let's talk to Dance. I'm sure he has something stupid for us to do. Um, how old is Maxon? seems so young compared to everyone else. You're okay with that? Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician. A formidable warrior and possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the Brotherhood. I'd follow him anywhere, without question. Um, your confidence is a little so weird. In his abilities? A decade ago, the Brotherhood had almost gone completely astray. The Elder before Maxon sent us down a path that was leading nowhere. He was more concerned about charity than the preservation of technology. But when Maxon took over, he single-handedly reprioritized the Brotherhood. Hey, wait a second and put us back on the path to glory. Is this Max and that little kid? Are a testament to his leadership. That's supposed to be like the, 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 he's dedicated. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. No, I do, because not you're doing it very stupidly. It, but if you screw up, we go down together. Oh, thanks. Why are you sponsoring me? So I did what's one all this thing. About you being my sponsor? Elder Maxon is understandably particular when it comes to new recruits. He believes in order to keep the Brotherhood strong, we have to bond as brothers. As your sponsor, it's my duty to travel with you throughout the Commonwealth to ensure that our ideals are being observed. That's why I'm so concerned about your performance in the field. Okay, I guess I won't let you down. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Until I inevitably now, I decide whether or not I wanted to do the Brotherhood. To the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship. I literally already power. have power armor. Since I don't I've need your guys' power, power armor. Your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Um, sure. Let's go, though. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. But Maxon thinks they need train under fire. Okay, well, apparently we're meeting everybody on the ship now. I forgot what I was doing though. Like I was, I was talking about things before I started talking to Dance, and then oh right, right, Maxon. Is Maxon the little kid that was supposed to be the descendant of Maxon? And then we also sort of were like, oh, more Maxon stuff or whatever. And he was just young and obviously wasn't going to amount to anything. And now he's the leader of the Brotherhood because that's cool. All right, since I'm going to be talking to people though, I'm going to go ahead and hop out of my power armor. And talk to you first. So, you're the and new talk to you I first. Uh, not what I was expecting. All right, expecting. What were you expecting? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders, dirty, beaten up, looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Not really. Anyway, I just wanted to explore the cool airship. Me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this. Realize something. 
A hotkey to switch between volumes would actually be super cool. This lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the prid one's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. All right. Power is armor. Is this where I get my power armor? Ha! <laughs> That's always the first question from the new guys. I did Let's seem very excited see. about it. I just fixed up a pretty decent T-60 suit. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. It's sitting in Bay 3. There isn't hey. a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Um, wh all right. Uh, it's not not you can't just ask people why they don't have legs um, but I'm going you to feel like telling me how you ended up that way that's a little personal don't you think yeah but I'm wearing a really cool hat so uh... most people in your condition would have given up I just wanted to hear your story <sighs> sure what the hell I was fighting with the Brotherhood in the capital wasteland worked at a staging area for the power armor troops our position was along a ridge line overlooking the battlefield. I'd say it was a hundred foot drop, give or take. Oh, That's quite a drop. If the enemy had no way of getting to us up there. It was a perfect liftoff point for the vertebrates. To make a long story short, the ridge I was standing on took a hit from a nuke. Sheared most a of the cliff nuke, right off and caused the platform I was standing on to tumble over the side. If I hadn't been test piloting one of the power armor suits at the time, I would have died. Oh. Your power armor helped you survive the fall? Yeah. It took the brunt of the impact. But I don't know if I'd call it surviving. The suit was trashed after it landed, and I lost both of my legs. Haven't walked since. Anyway, if you need any work done on your power armor, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Now, the important question is, if I steal your, uh, fusion core, will you try to leave? Or is your model... Okay, yeah, you can't... You literally cannot steal her fusion core. Damn, I wanted... I wanted to at least commit in one aspect to being evil in this thing already. But all right, that's fine. Um, ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's this? Hello? Step forward, knight. Oh, okay. You locked me in this blasted cage. I promise that I won't bite. All right. I, I, I mean, obviously I have to ask, why are you in the cage? Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now, this is the stowage depot. And I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. Well, that's if not going to last long. If you need to stock long. up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Uh, good to know. That's good to know. I'm glad you're Obviously, I have type. to buy them. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they get Oh, but you're going to tell me anyway, thanks. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. And probably course, something that's not if useful. Just looking to make a few caps on the side. I might have some extra work for you to do. Oh, extra work. Uh, hi there, scribe. Are you just gonna weirdly stare at me? Because, um, it's a little creepy what you're doing right now. What sort of extra work are we talking <laughs> but, about? Seriously, oh, why no, is she no, staring no, no, at me like it's that? nothing like you're thinking. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. Oh, you want me to extort and since people? I'm stuck out here manning this one man zoo. That I sounds great. To the leg work I will me. totally I will After totally you're extort done with some the people. Meet we can discuss. Right. In the meantime, if you ever need All right, now he's just offering me stuff. All right, that's that's a useful information, knowing I could do some shakedowns and also makes the brotherhood seem a little more evil. So, I'm cool with that. They look at Bram initial weapon mods. Dr. Tegan might have what you need. There's a lot of stuff on here. No nuclear material, but that's fine. I should start using some plasma weaponry so I can get nuclear material off things more often. Good. Just oh, set the books down hi anyway. there. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Uh, books? I don't what who? What are you doing with all these books? I suppose I could stop working for a moment to address your question. Uh, pertinent information. Which books contain pertinent information? Technical volumes, repair manuals, design philosophies, medical research. Anything that enhances the Brotherhood's knowledge. I don't know what I'm asking that's about. Why I consider everything else a waste of paper. Oh, well, that's, um... 
I I disagree personally, but Evil Nicholas is totally for burning books. Makes so. sense to get rid of the trash. Well, I'm pleased you agree. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? I am here because I'm meeting Max the crew. Max wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's Think You guys are clearly big enough Under that not everybody should have heard of me. I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, technical documentation. I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Yeah, 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 I understand how that works. Technical documentation, technical I'll documentation get that for are you. you looking for? The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current mission. Medical records, science journals, weapon schematics. If it contains any type of useful data, we need to get our hands on it. And by you need to get your hands on it, I need to get my hands on it. Maybe I can it. lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, Keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And All if right. you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Uh-huh. Well, you, of course, gave me useful information in that now I know I have a repeatable quest here where I get to... You know, do the thing with the things and getting documents from places. That sounds great and easy, because I'm assuming they're just all over the place, really. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Definitely. Damn it, scribe. I told you I didn't want the corners bent. The issues were to be in mint condition. I'm sorry, Proctor, but this is the only limited edition annual we've recovered. Even before the bombs fell, this was the rarest issue. The one where Grognak dies and comes back to life. Yes, Scribe. I've read the 2076 Underlane Price Guide from cover to cover, so I'm well aware Doesn't of Doesn't like useless value. information, the huh? for this travesty rests squarely on your shoulders. Please, you finish your introductions by all means. You. But I do hope Which you'll consider is... assisting me when you're done. Always bag and board. I'm sorry, sir. You're absolutely right. And I promise it will never... Um, sir? What's that red blinking light on your terminal? What? Oh, damn it I left it in record mode. Just let me... Uh-huh. Well, you never did end up uh, getting rid of that, buddy, so... That was embarrassing for you, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plenty of work, whatever. Where's the last person I need to talk to, though? Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Oh! You for your medical exam? You're the medic. All right. Uh, medical exam. What kind of medical exam? I feel fine. There's nothing to be alarmed about. I just have a few simple questions about your medical history. It's okay. my responsibility to make sure that you don't bring anything up here that could pose a threat to the crew. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? No, because I went through vault tech screening. Wouldn't vault tech screening process have caught this already? vault tech screening process? Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? Yeah. You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease. What, you mean like, have I ever had the flu? Cause, uh, no. Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question, and please answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Um, what's considered non-human? I'm guessing the question That happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many wastelanders answer yes to that question. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Since you haven't so spent no too much sex time with in super the mutants. I'll assume Sounds your answer boring. is no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Eh, not really. It's a morals question, but <laughs> 
Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. I just like shooting Excellent. things. I think I've got all the information. I also don't here. mind shooting I friends no of the Brotherhood, you so... I beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Yeah, I, I, I don't have any issues with shooting people who definitely aren't enemies of the Brotherhood, let alone ones that are, so you guys have no problems, don't worry. So I'm guessing we could start on our mission now? Although probably not, because that was a lot of talking, so I guess the tour of the Pridwin was most of this episode, but we're going to do one more thing before we, uh, sign off here. Is there a way out of the ship that's quick and easy? Doesn't- oop, nope, that's somebody else's place. See, there's one more thing that I want to do before we stop this episode, uh, and then we'll probably do- You know what, no, we'll finish whatever mission they're gonna give us here, but the first thing I definitely want to do is jump off of the flight deck, because obviously I want to jump off of the flight deck. Uh, but firstly, first we have to talk to Elder Maxim. Elder Maxim? Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Absolutely. Yes, Elder. Good. Let's I forgot to, to get it. back in my power armor. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Okay. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse... They're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I knew I read about that. I did Fort Strong, it isn't it? I read about that, that and they weren't there. Understood? I am really angry about this mission because, oh, fat man what shells? What do these shells do? The fat man launcher is an essential part of the Brotherhood arsenal. I am not it's amused. It's a miniature nuclear payload in a man portable format. A squad of troops armed with one of these is virtually unstoppable. If you ever have the pleasure of firing one of them, Allow me to give you a word of advice. Don't fire one of them in close quarters. There won't be enough of you to bury in a shoebox. That enough to go on? Yeah, sure. Consider, Consider it, it done. done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot well, allow I... those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Um... It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. I, I do have one issue with that, that mainly being that I was, I, I didn't say anything about fighting the Institute. You just like assume that I was eager to do that, which, okay, whatever. Uh, now I need to go find my power armor again. I under, I, I overestimated the amount of time I was using in this episode, as it turns out. Oh, hi there. Unless you like getting, if you find any technical All right, back in the power armor. All right, dance likes when I get into power armor, obviously. Now we were told we should take over a vertebird, but we've already taken one of those and it was actually kind of boring so I'm thinking we should maybe just drop off the ship like I wanted to because that'll be fun and try not to land on anybody because that does turn people hostile in case you were wondering and then we could just fast travel over because you know okay well nice to know that you guys are all bloodthirsty and not just some of you are all right so get on that gunship. well I'm not gonna get on the gunship we are going to just jump off right about now Pewsh. and actually uh, a lot less impressive than I thought it would be um, oh, it's still pointing to the vertebrate. And I'm pretty sure I've been there, so I'm just gonna fast travel there. Like, I already cleared out the mutants once. Oh, but they're back, because of course they are. Okay, now let's get to shooting. Oh, okay, there's a behemoth. Maybe I should have taken the, uh, oh, he actually wasn't that much of an issue. Well, turns out that it was actually, why is he catching on shock? Well, we secured Fort Strong. That was easy. That was easy. Um, where did that behemoth go? Here he is. Kind of disappointing to lose a behemoth. Okay, eh, nothing really that great. TV dinner trays aluminum, but yeah, turns out it was a lot easier. I lost maybe 15% of my health. Like they weren't even trying to kill me. This is not gonna be difficult. Why, why did they need to send? a knight here? They could have sent a scribe. I mean, I'm not leaving my power armor. Power armor seems to be an essential part of being part of the Brotherhood of Steel, but... Oh, right, yeah, I have the key. I was like, Fort Strong key? Oh, right, because I have been here before and I cleared it out that time, but now you're going to have put something else here so that I have to go find the ground or whatever. Pew, pew. Actually, I could have... 
Dance, do you have like an electricity gun or something? Because if you do, that's fine and all. I just want to know about it. Oh, well, never mind then. Hollow tape, private, and eh, whatever. I'm not even gonna bother playing that. We'll listen to it later. I mean, I secured Fort Strong already. What do I what do I do still? Oh, I thought secure the armory. Where is the armory? Because it wasn't here last time. Trust me, I look. Um Oh, elevator that I'm sure didn't work last time I was here. Or if it did work, it was blocked by debris because that's how the game hides things that are apparently story missions. It just doesn't allow you to go in the right area, which is, if anything, actually more annoying than sequence breaking, but whatever. I forgot what I was doing. No, dance, dance. No, bad. That's a bad dance. I hear a super... See? No, look, this is what I mean. Look, my gun is down. I don't understand why people need a mod for that to happen. My gun is down already and I don't have that mod. And it's a right it, they put down the rifles. I don't understand. Like, my game has always done that, and I don't understand why people want their gun down more often, because it goes down. Oh, there we go. I was wondering where the jump down was. Yeah, I think Dance's gun has, uh, definitely has lightning damage or something. Oh, okay. Somebody has a rocket launcher. Now they don't. Oh, hi there, new guy. Missiles. This actually wasn't too bad. Just a bunch of screaming super mutants as I shot them to death. Meta. Ooh, no. What else is in here? Ooh, there, there we go. That's the constituent parts of a fat man. Is that what we're waiting for? Oh, that's not many. All right, judging that there's multiple trays in each of these, probably at least uh, two, then I'm going to assume that there's four fat men worth of stuff in each one, and there's two trays at each. So that's only eight fat men per container. Container, and there's like this is like only like 120 mini nukes which is not a lot like I don't use mini nukes I am not a person who uses heavy weapons in general and not because I'm one of those people who like oh save all the fat man ammunition for later use no I just don't like them usually like I carried around the fat man in the tale of two wastelands let's play because it was fun but in this game it's not as fun because like I don't know how to use it really because it always changes a little bit each game and I haven't gotten like the arc down and also, I couldn't do the MIRV mod. And let's be honest, that's what's going to make it awesome. Oh, yay. One of my places is under attack. So do we, are we done here? Did we, did we do the thing? It radiated. Ooh, that actually sounds, oh, oh my. If you turn that full auto, that's incredibly lethal. Hello. Oh, did I just learn something I'm going to do? Oh boy. Oh boy, indeed. I do not use automatic weaponry, but this, oh, this is going to be my new friend. Oh. Oh man, after after we talk to dance and get this mission done with, ooh boy. No, I really don't, they were just, oh, one sec, this isn't an important one. Why do you hate super mutants so much? Uh, oh, you lost a friend to him, okay. All right, that understands. Da, 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 super mutants can do, can you imagine? Armageddon repeated. It is just rhetoric, by the way. Don't be sorry though, it's fine. Yep, 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 warheads and stuff. Oh, dismissed, you were, fo okay, whatever. You were following me because you're supposed to be like my 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 big brother in this organization you're you're my 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 big brother sort of where like you're everybody blames you if i do bad things but then the parents love me more anyway and let me get away with more mostly because you get blamed for it if i do something wrong all right so first we we have to get experiment with this assault rifle before we go turn in this mission because oh yeah imagine 50 radiation damage where a thousand kills people by the way on a weapon that fires fully automatic powerful automatic receiver. Okay, so it's fully auto now. That's a very decent fire rate. It can kill a person who can only take a thousand rads in like almost zero shot, which is great. I need somebody to test it on, but oh wait, we have to go defend Hangman's Alley. Let's go do that with this gun. Hopefully it's not a uh, super mutants because that would be, well, unfortunate. All right, having to unlock the gate is not a good sign. Oh, what the heck are you guys doing in here? Oh, they're actually dying so quick that it doesn't matter. Oh, actually, no, because 50 points of rad damage is going to do a 20th of their health automatically, where they're not going to be able to recover that. Yeah, because, like, I'm also setting down their max health on top of killing them. So, every, like, every time I fire, it's doing more percentage of their damage. Okay, yeah, this thing is pretty good, actually. This might be my new DPS weapon instead of the shotgun. I mean, it's entirely worthless and, in fact, anti-useful when it comes to things that are immune to radiation slash get healed by radiation. I'm looking at you ghouls, but until then... Of course, it's not going to be the best weapon for the place that we are going to head to. Oh, we're level 42. <laughs> That's a great level. Um, It's not going to help us much for where we have to head into right now, which is a 
horrible place of immense radiation and terribleness, the glowing sea, because that is what we are going to do next episode. You know, this was actually, gonna, this was supposed to be really dramatic. I thought it was a lot. Oh, okay. Oh, legendary death claw. Okay, we'll fight this first. That's fine. I don't think it's going to be. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, um, and next episode, <laughs> meet as we play on, well, maybe not very hard, but hard, and then we'll see how that plays, and then possibly very hard. I don't like very hard because it's usually, um, it's usually. Okay, that's fine. I didn't want anything from that legendary death claw. That's okay. Whatever. Um, very hard is usually just bullet spongy, and I don't like bullet spongy, but clearly playing a normal is no longer an option because I shouldn't be able to take down a legendary death claw in like two seconds. Like, that's not, that's not balanced. <laughs> that's, a death claw should be a difficult fight, especially a legendary death claw. All right, this is what I meant. But it, uh, an irradiated weapon's not going to help us much if we are in the glowing sea, which we are going to do next episode. Yay. Uh, we're probably going to explore around a bit on top of trying to find Virgil wherever he is because uh, I don't know if you've noticed. Ooh, there's a vault. Is that vault in the glowing sea? Because, okay, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to get that vault location first because it looks like it's on the edge of the glowing sea. So we're going to, we're going to grab that and then we'll explore that the start of next episode and then go find Virgil. Oh, discover the edge of the glowing sea. Okay. All right. No, no, no. We have to go. We have to figure out what that is. Oh, the rat. Oh, a rad storm and the glowing sea overlay. Oh, hi there. Probably not a good idea to attack me, attack dog, but that's fine. You tried. Hello. What's this? So many things. So many things to find in this game. Like every episode would probably be taking a hundred times longer if I actually explored everything I want to explore during an episode, but I actually want to finish the main story eventually. So this is why I'm sort of forcing myself onward. Um, okay. Where is it? Feels like something. Vault 95. Um, oh, hi there. Um, okay. I wasn't expecting to be murdered when I got here, but I wasn't. So, whoops. I accidentally shot that guy who was sitting there. Oh, another assault tron. That's okay. Cause I, d I didn't actually want to go in here. I wasn't trying to kill a bunch of gunners. I'm, I'm just, okay, please stop fighting me. I didn't want to, I don't want to hurt you guys. I'm so sorry. So many of you. Oh, this will answer my question of whether or not I can open and close these doors in power armor. Um, all right. And then we compare it to when I'm not in power armor. Ooh, that was quick. Oh, because I'm in combat. Oh, that's what that mod would do. Okay, I'm getting that mod then. Uh, all right, so we'll explore this next episode. I think I might have shot a mannequin and thought it was a person. Yeah, so we'll explore Vault 95 next episode. It seems like it's going to be full of uh, gunners. We're going to figure out what their experiment was, like we did with 81. And then we're going to go find Virgil, who is somewhere in the glowing sea. Woo, which we are apparently sort of in. Anyway, uh, this has been Fancy Sloth Nick. Uh, I'm going to take this time to bid you adieu. Ask you to, if you like this video, why not like and subscribe and comment and all that nice stuff. Uh, but whatever you decide to do, don't forget to stay fancy sloths.